Well, hey everyone, and thanks for joining us for our daily touch point today. Today's reading is from Isaiah chapter 40, and it's verses 1 through 3. And I just want to highlight some things that I found in verses 3, 4, and a little bit of 5. So let me read them to you. Verse 3 says, A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And I just love the language of these verses as they talk about uh, the physical attributes of the land leading back to Jerusalem and how in his coming, God is going to remake those places to the way they used to be. And it's even an invitation for us on a personal level to uh, repent of maybe those things that keep us from our hearts being fully ready to accept Christ. And I love the way that actually Tommy Walker says it in one of his songs. He says, make way in our hearts for the Lord. And I think that's what these verses from the passage today are inviting us to, is to prepare our hearts to make them right so that we can fully accept and thank God for the gift of his son, which is promised in Christmas. And so I just want us to take a few seconds and actually sit in silence and just ask God, God, are there any ways that you want to make my heart ready to accept the King, uh, Jesus, the Savior, the Rescuer, make him, uh, as he makes his arrival in just a few short weeks on Christmas? So will you just spend the next few minutes in silence with me? Well, God, we thank you that in this passage there, um, God, it tells us that you prepared the physical land back to Jerusalem, but God, that also there's an invitation for us to prepare our hearts uh, to make room for you, God, this Christmas season. So I pray, Lord, whatever you might have spoken to somebody today, God, would that become true? Would they have the courage to, to repent of something if they felt prompted towards repentance? Um, or God, whatever else you might have prompted someone, I just pray for boldness and, and bravery and courage to do, uh, God, what your word might have been instructing us. And God, thank you that you made a way for your son to come and be born. Thank you for the hope that we have knowing that you fulfilled your promise in the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if anyone is interested in listening to that song I mentioned before, it's called Prepare You the Way, and it's on Tommy's uh, Make It Glorious CD, which is available on Spotify and I'm sure Apple Music and iTunes. But thank you everybody for joining us today. I am so looking forward to the rest of this Advent reading plan and hope that you will continue to jump in with us every day as we prepare our hearts for Christmas. Thanks everybody.